2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the John Deere Classic. Today's coverage is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hey guys, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing these two go at it again. It was a great rivalry first time round and now, more so than ever, they're going to want to beat each other. Yeah, we've got an exciting match coming your way so stick around and let's see who wins it. Oh, that was flushed. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up this shot from about 120. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Getting off to a great start at this event. I've never been disappointed by starting off my round with a birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. And currently leading this tournament is Tony Finau. Lovely playing. Here we are at the second tee. You want to cut the corner as much as possible to shorten your second shot on this par five. Should you do that, a very straightforward second shot will set up birdies and eagles all day long. Find the trouble off the tee, and you'll find trouble on the rest of the hole. Don't fool yourself. for the five wood. Oh, I love this type of carriage, Rich. Going forward in two. Always like the aggressive play. Going forward in two and get rewarded for it. This is Brooke Henderson. Oh my, how about that for a par? And now this is why you can never get comfortable, even if you're leading a PGA Tour Pro. This is what they do. They mean business. Go on, get in the hole. Is that a good line? Always nice when you can just go ahead and tap one in for birdie. And on the leaderboard, they currently sit second behind the talented Tony Finau. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Par three, 183 yards up the hill, blind tee shot. The big miss here is short right in that deep bunker. Should you find that bunker, you're also gonna find yourself making bogey or worse. Anywhere on the green is a good shot. Looks to be going with the four iron. Well, this one might need to get down a little. And he's hit that inside the range. He has about 14 feet to the hole. He's staring down a birdie putt here. It's on a great line. Well played. And now at three under overall. 
Next up is this two-shot hole. Par four, 448 yards, sweeping dog leg left to right, big tree in the middle, missed that, and you've got a simple second shot into a sliver of a green. Yeah, that one will play. Lining up here after a bunch of birdies, Rich. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. That's tidy. Good look at a birdie here. Ouch, that hurts. Oh, that's too bad. Just three feet to the cup. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? Yeah, she's down, she's behind her rivals scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Just one off the lead after that hole. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Par four, this fairway chases away from the players down the hill, so tee shots will run forever, setting up a second shot that is very simple and straightforward. The tempo there was exquisite. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. He's right in the hunt, just a shot off the pace. Let's hope this one gets a good lie because it's heading towards the rough. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Missing it short there, they will definitely be upset. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Let's return to live play now. No green in rig, but a chance to save their par. Oh, that's a tasty looking chip. Top shot. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. He currently shares fourth position. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. Par four measures just 361 yards, but only the long players will try and drive this green. The others, lay it up with an iron, wedge it on, hit it close, make your birdie. That reminded me of the Big Easy, silky smooth. And what's in front of them there, Henny? I can see the 125 yard marker just nearby. Going with the pitching wedge here. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it though. Let's see. He seems to have zero regard for the fact that he's playing against a multiple major champion here. Just firing off approach shots like that. Wow. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. Deep into the front nine. Here we are at the seventh hole. Part three down the hill. It seemingly plays short, but I can promise you it doesn't.
that's great. It just missed the hole. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Oh, that's a beauty. Great shot from the Boca. And back to the play, shall we? And this putt is to move into a share for the lead. That will work on a roll here with back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Par four, every single shot plays uphill. Make sure to take plenty of club. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Sitting at five under for the day. They currently share the lead in this one. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This one's 13 feet from the cup. Oh yeah, this is tracking nicely. What do we catch up with Brooke Henderson? She's currently trailing her rival. Let's see what happens here. They're a long way from the hole here. Work to be done. She's got a great look at Birdie here. Uh, that'll be a good result. I know it didn't go down, but it just a tap in awaits. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Par four, 485 yards, the toughest hole on the golf course. Make sure you find the fairway and get your second shot somewhere around the green to give yourself the best chance of making four. around 170 yards here currently in the lead by a shot looks to have chosen the seven iron a oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth this putt is about 10 feet from the hole Looking good. Ah, that's a shame. Comes up shy. I think they gave that one too much respect. They didn't want to hit it too hard to go racing past the hole. Ooh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. Sitting at six under for the day. Currently in top spot. <laughs> Wonderfully played. And here we are with the third shot. He leads the field by a stroke. <laughs> Lovely effort, that. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And that will take him to seven under. They're in the bunker. Looking for an up and down here. And down she goes. 
Oh, that was a tasty little morsel, wasn't it? Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Now on the tee, fresh off a birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Par four, 428 yard, tree line hole, difficult driving hole all the way around, but should you find the fairway, the second shot on a little plateau just above the fairway is very basic. You liked that, didn't you? Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. And another fine looking strike this one. It'll find the green. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Get excited. This could go in. Oh, that would have been nice to make. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. It's time for a one-shotter. Par three plays 208 yards from the back. In saying that, this is a good birdie opportunity as the green is massive in size. Yeah, good safe shot this one. That should find the surface. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. How close was that to going down? Big pass over coming up for this fella. So far, so good. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's got momentum now. Just birdied the last hole. Oh, almost went in. Well, that'll play. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Par four, back up the hill, 418 yards, the widest fairway on the golf course. Avoid all those bunkers. Second shot up the hill to a narrow green that slopes off on both sides. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, he's got a round 125 here. Oh, absolutely flushed. Why don't we catch up with Brooke Henderson? Yeah, she's down, she's behind, her rival's scooting ahead. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. this is this gonna go in and this one is for his par leading by a couple after that hole let's begin the 14th par four 357 yards almost every player in the field will be giving it a whirl knock it on and he could be rewarded with an eagle two Not a bad line, this one. Wow, Rich. That's impressive. Just a missile of a tee shot right onto the green. 
And Henny, what are they looking at here? This is downhill, can't be too bold. This putt is of nine feet. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Oh, what a stroke. And that's eight birdies today. And that will take him to eight under. And that fine play ensures they hold top spot on the leaderboard with John Rahm trailing in second place. The finish at TPC Deer Run is full of birdie opportunities and some low scoring to be had, Rich. This 14th hole is certainly part of that lineup. Par four, 456 in length from the back tee. Must find the fairway off the tee shot to have any hope of finding the green in two. Large trees line the right and left hand side of the fairway. Pretty good shot there. And he's down there. Yeah, I think he's got around 135. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's just inside the range. And now over to Brooke Henderson's next shot. She's trying to pull ahead in this group rivalry. Let's see what happens. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Trying to get to nine under for the event with this opportunity. This for a birdie birdie run. Oh, so close. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Now that's how you roll the rock. And the putt drops, now at eight under, heading down the stretch. And with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. Par three only plays 153, but a tricky little green to say the least. Don't let the beauty of the river to your left swallow you in. This is a tough but fun little par three. Good sounding strike, that one. Well, you can see why he's leading. That was a shot of high caliber. And Henny, what is she looking at here for this putt? The perfect leave. Uphill can be firm. Okay, steady now. A seven footer right here. That's tracking, and that will drop in for birdie. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Wow, that was just striped. Oh, he's caught up in some branches there. Second shot here on the 17th. Fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Getting ready to play their third. Opting for the 9 iron. That was a little bit of a misfire, I'd say. Shocking. A missed green in regulation. The 
Okay, step one complete, out of the bunker. Now let's go make a putt. This putt for par here. That gets the job done. He sits in first position. If you want to win a TPC Deer Run, you've got to successfully navigate this challenging final hole. Hard to describe the difficulty of this tee shot unless you've actually been here. Par 4, 463 yards. Missed the fairway bunker down the right-hand side, and you've got a clear shot to a very narrow green surrounded by water on the left-hand side. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Great looking shot this. Pay attention folks, that's how you play golf. It's all come down to this, putt for the title. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for your John Deere Classic winner. What a spectacular performance all week long by this player. Clutch performance, clutch win by this player. Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably little surprise that this player powered through to victory. It's very rare where you see a player absolutely dominate a field like they did in this tournament. Unbelievable job all around. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.